Hello guys. I am here today for us to do something fun and different. <clears throat> or at least it is for me. Um, this is, you know, I've all, you know how I love to do anything with file folders. I used to do it all the time. Haven't done it in a while, but I'm doing it today. So we have these file cards that are by Oxford. They're called Oxford Blank Card Guide Set. And so they have all the tabs. These only have two, but there is one more that you can add. It comes in, the box I got, is, or the package, is 100 of these, three by five, one third cut, made out of manila. So that's, that's, what, that's what I bought. Okay, all right, now, um, so I made them, I decided to make a file folder that uh, has some depth, kind of like when we do our pockets. So as you can see here, I added the appropriate things to make our file folders where we can actually use them. Now, I've done these four before the video, but we're gonna do one together and then we're gonna decorate them. That's always fun, right? So doing these, uh, the accordion fold, you need um, for this to be two inches by, let me tell you exactly, uh, two inches by, uh, three. Two inches by three inches. You'll need two of those out of a lighter weight cardstock. This is like a medium weight here. And you need this to be one and a half inches by five inches. So two by three, two two by threes, one, um, one and a half by five. And then your, your cards, I just gave you the size on those. They're three by fives. Okay. Now you need two of these, and I chose to take the first one and the second one out of each, you know, for each of these. But you could do it, you know, you could do it with one that comes over here, or you could do it with all three. I just did it with two. I didn't think I wanted to overwhelm us all today. You could also stitch on these before you put them down, or you can stitch on something that you cover them with. So, we're just going to play with them and see how we can go from here. Now, my ink pad is about had it, and I'm going to change it today after I finish these, because these are pretty sharp. So, just go around uh, your corners. You don't have to do the bottom part of the file, uh, just the top and the two sides. And I kind of add... Um, more up in here. I just kind of go in here and I'm not worrying about how fancy it is or anything. Um, just don't load your brush before you do that portion. Now I'm going to flip it over and you want to remember what's front, what's back. And I'm just going to do along the top because that will be seen. I'll show you why I'm doing that. You can see this in the back. And the same with this one. You can see in the front. So you just do the the top portion um, of both of them on the back sides. See, I'm already getting, my thing is already shedding. So I'm gonna do the top portion of this since it will show from the front. Let me get it on there pretty good. You know, I'm all about inking. So I didn't want to for us to make more. Now you're gonna flip it over and do the top and two sides. I um, definitely like my stuff to be inked and especially any cut lines because they stand out so bad. I got that a little darker than I like, but it's gonna be on the back. So it should be fine. So now this is this is the back. This is the inside. 
and you do it the same way on the front and back. Okay, now, now we're gonna go to this. We're gonna fold this in half. Now, I didn't score any of this stuff. If you wanna score it, you can. So just fold it in half long ways, as best or as close as you can get it, because one side will be on the front and one side will be on the back of the folder. Yeah, just like that. Now, we need to ink this on both sides, not on the inside, just on both sides, just like I'm doing here. Now on that peak portion, I made sure I got it dark right there. So I'm back on the other side now. And you can, you can decide um, how you want this to be, but uh, as far as darkness or what colors, you could even add, this is just an idea, this part and the hinge portion could be a different color. You know, so let's say you were doing, you know, red and white or red and black or whatever. You could do the hinges red and the bottom portion here black. I mean, you can just do them both the same color even. I mean, you know, you just change it up depending on what you're going to do with it. I, on the other hand, am just, we're going to decorate these because I've been really into the decorating thing. So when we make these hinges, we want to do as well as we can getting them straight. It's very hard to do. I'm not going to lie to you. So I say do the very, uh, fold it in half first, okay? Fold it right in half and try to get it as perfect as you can. I... I, this is not something you want to do on a, um, probably not want to do on a bone, with your bone folder on your score bo uh, pad, because it's harder, I think. <laughs> I've, I've tried it both ways. Now, you've got this folded in half, and we're going to take this one side and fold it back. So, when it's all said and done, it's going to be an accordion fold, Okay. This way you can get it as straight as possible. I learned this by not doing it like this the first few of these. So you'll see some of them aren't, it, aren't um, as perfect as I would have liked. But I just kept going until I got it like I wanted it. Um, which I think is fun. I've not ever seen anybody make these. Um... So I can't say, you know, I can't give credit to anybody because I haven't seen them made by anybody. Um, so I'm going to fold this up also the same way. So you need two of these. And super hard to do because they're tiny and, you know... Getting it just perfect is not easy. And I'll tell you, mine are not perfect. But I will say, if I can get it good enough that it doesn't cause any problems on how it ends up looking, I feel like I've accomplished something. Uh, this side is still not as far forward as it needs to be. It really breaks up your the fibers in your paper when you do this because, you know, you know how that is. Okay, so let's do this other side and we'll have the folding done and we can get these inked and move on to putting it together. It's really simple. Um, super simple. So on inking, you only want to do this middle peak that stick it sticking up as far as you inking on the inside of these. Now I do that and I just kind of give it a little bit of a, you know, 
okay? And then you open it and you just do the all around the outside. You know, the parts that you'll end up seeing will uh, just be these parts. Okay, so there's how it will end up looking when you ink it. This side doesn't have any inking. You don't need any on that side, just on this side. Or at least that's how I did it. I mean, you can do it however you want, but I'm always in to not having to ink any more than necessary. <laughs> it's not my favorite thing to do. You can do both, you know, each side while you're on that side if you want to. All right, so we're done with the ink as far as this folder goes. So let me get rid of um, all this stuff that ended up here. I'm gonna get my wet, let me get it wet. I'm kind of just scooting it into the trash and hoping it hits the trash. Let's clean that up. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna get out my Fabri-Tac because I know it will hold it a good amount well. So, I'll wipe that down and then I, now I have a wet spot. There we go. Now, so I'm gonna take them, we've got them like this. I'm gonna take them and open them like that. So, we're on the inside of the two folders. I'm gonna take one of my hinges, and you wanna remember that these hinges, the ink side, this, this mountain here, has to always be on the outside. So, we're gonna put it this way. And so, we're gonna glue, we're gonna fold it down like this, and we're gonna glue that one edge. And I'll show you how that works. Okay. And you don't want to overflow the glue because if you do, it could seep out. But mine has a big opening, so I'm hoping it will not do that. I had to cut a big opening because it wouldn't pour ink out. I'm going to pull this forward a little bit and this to the side so you maybe you can see. And you just line up at the, you line it up at the top, but don't go over the top because you can see it from the outside if you do. So you don't wanna do that. So line it up. You're gonna have some down here at the bottom that doesn't have any. And line it up there. I usually leave a little tiny space just in case I don't have my hinges perfect. You'll understand why if you ever put it all the way to the edge, this middle hinge if you have it off at all, this middle hinge will hang out over the side. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so you look on the front and the back and make sure there's no glue. And there's not. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, we've got the hinge on the outside. So now we're going to ink this portion. If I can get my glue to cooperate. There we go. Okay, now you want to take it and put it down. Whoops, I was fixing to put it upside down. Keep, keep the ink portion to the outside. Make sure you leave a teeny tiny ledge and then always get it to the top but not hanging over. Now, I'm going to show you. I've got this with a little bit of a latch here, see? Just a little. And then when you fold your hinge forward, it's really right on that edge. So, that could hang over here if I was not, if I was just slightly off. I just wanted you to know what I was talking about. Okay, no glue anywhere, so we're ready to move on and put this portion onto our hinges. 
This is a little trickier because you have, um, you're trying to even, you got to even the front file folder and the back file folder portion. Um, even with, they have to be even with each other. Plus you have to be on in the right spots with your hinges. Now, don't fret, it's not that hard. But I hold down this middle portion of the hinge right here. Make sure my card is in the upright position here and the back side here. Now, I'm going to go right here and I'm immediately gonna line up with the top and the bottom, the top and the bottom. That's how you can get get it square. Then you hold it down for a second because your hinge is attaching. And see, there's a little bit of glue right there. So I got to make sure I get that off. So I'm going to kind of just pull this back, straighten up my hinge a little bit, get that off of there. That little bit of glue, get it gone. And because you don't want it gluing, working taking all the the main thing on the second hinge is that everything and this is how it's going to look everything is straight you know because when you come over to this other side it's it should automatically be straight okay so now we're going to kind of uh we're going to pull this back to put some glue on Let's see, come out of there. Okay, now, I'm gonna hold this here, and hold it down, whoops, and make sure your other side is folded in with the hinges, and you just still wanna make sure you line things up, because sometimes you can be off a little, and you don't wanna do that, for sure. There you go. Now, let's look in there and make sure our hinge is looking okay. This is the front. So you can't see hinge here. You can't see hinge here. That's how you want it. Now, keep it on its front. Make sure there wasn't any glue. I guess I should look and make sure. Yeah, there's not any glue, okay. So, right now, it's just like doing this, okay? It's just open because it's giving, right now, it's giving you that much space with an open bottom, okay? We don't want that. We want to be able to put things in here and, uh, but yet have it open in the top. So, we're going to take our hinge, that's what I'm calling it, the hinge and you run ink on one side, on the inside, right across the top. Now, if you wanna add more, you can. I, this is how I take advantage of smearing it. <laughs> so, you wanna set it down on the side that has no ink. You wanna line it up, just like that. Leave a little bit of a space between the file folder and the hinge, and then fold it up. And at this point, I think we could have gone just a little wider, maybe like, I don't know, um, one eighth more or something, you know, because it does show just a tiny bit. I mean, it is like exactly five, but it's just, if you cut it just a hair shorter, you know how our trimmers are never perfect. Whoops. So here is the front. Now we gotta do the back the same way. And what's gonna end up happening, I'm sure you figured it out by now, is you're gonna have, um, you're gonna be able to put something into your file folder if you wish. I haven't even decided what that would be. Now you've got ink on the other side. You do the same thing. Just push the ink down, clean up any excess. We don't have any, and voila, 
we have a file folder. Now, yes, it's not straight down, but it works. You could put things in here and, and you could attach this to your, um, to your, uh, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let me get a piece of paper and I'll show you. Maybe that'll help a little bit. I'm going to attach it down lower. Let me get in here. I'm going to attach it down on the lower portion of the page, just like this. But I'm not going to put glue on the whole thing. I'm going to put glue here, here, and here. Now, this back side will, will be a flat pocket. So you can only get like a flat tag in there behind that second, uh, the second one. So like here is, it's on, let's say it's glued on onto our paper on this side, the bottom, and you know, left and right bottom. So you're gonna have a place back here to put your tags, your flat tags, okay? This is a baby tag, but it's all I got handy. So you could put it back there, and then here you can put multiple things. I love it. I hope you guys do. So now what I want to do is I want us to decorate these little babies. Now, there's all kinds of things we can do to decorate them. So we're going to do something similar, I guess, to what we did last in the last video because, you know, um, the last video, I'm trying to find the one I want to, I want one that's dried to start with. So there we go. So now what I want to do is decide on what I want on here. I'm going to get my tear tool so we can tear paper. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, tear this. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course. I have not learned how to use this we are memory makers uh file thing <laughs> trust me it is more slippery than my 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 other tear tool so it kind of slips all around when you're trying to do it and i don't like that about it but what can i say i didn't make it okay so we want this to to fit on here now yes we have space and that's okay because we're not done we want to put it on here about where we'd like it to be. So, and then lay this on here and tear. Now, I always like a little bit of a border, so that doesn't bother me. But uh, anyway, so we've got that on here. And I'm going to pull it to, to the side that has the tab on it. Now, on the other side, we could put a number of things on this other side. We could do, I'm going to get a glue book. Now, I use these old poetry books because I want, I, don't, I want to use them for glue. So, these are dreadful poems. They're, they're some of them are. Um, and I'm going to get my glue stick for portions of this. I'm going to get that open. And... Let's go ahead and adhere the music down. Now, do we want to ink it? I think it will look better because we've got ink, so much ink around the other portion. Now, we need to at least ink. You know, I'm just doing nothing fancy. I'm just doing a hit and miss because, you know, inking on the paper, this paper that's so flimsy is very hard. So, I'm just going to do this while this doesn't have glue on it. And um, I probably didn't need to even do that side, but yeah, there we go. Now, we're gonna put the glue on the back, and because this is old, worn out music sheet, we have to be careful. So basically what we're doing, and I'm not gonna do the back because 
the way I plan to use them. You could put them in pockets and, you know, fill them and then pull them out, but I'm not thinking that's, that's not how I designed them. I want them to, wanted them to be, you know, pockets. So you could do anything, anything you want with them. So there we go. We're going to line that up like that. Now on this side, I thought we could put a different kind of paper. I want to go ahead and um, collage on this one because, you know, whatever we put on the top, it has a better chance of not showing, you know? So, let me get it right here. And this is super, I don't want to say rotten, but that's what it is. Super rotten. So, we're going to put that right there. And I like how it's torn, so I'm going to leave that, but we're just tearing around the outside. Going to tear this portion off right here. Yeah. Slap some ink on it. I hope you guys can see. I feel like my camera moves more often than it should on its own. It does it all by itself. <laughs> so now we're going to glue this down. I hope you guys are having a great day. And I hope you love this as much as I do. Um, I've, I told you I've had have several things I want us to to do that are different than things we've done before. Okay, so now I'm going to line this up right across here. Yeah, there we go. Now, this side was kind of crooked, so it gives you the illusion that this is crooked. It might be, and that doesn't bother me, okay? So, I'm thinking on this first one, because I, I think it would look good. Let me get some paper. I usually like to have some kind of paper up here to ink on. Um, ignore this. It's just something with a lot of uh, writing on it. So, we're just going to slap some ink on here just to take the shark white away. Now, where do I want this on here? That's the question. Do we want it up here in this corner? Ooh, I like that. Or do we want it down here across the bottom? Oh, I like both ways. So, maybe we'll do one of both. So, on this one, let's go ahead and put it right here, since that's where we're, we landed. So, I'm just putting ink, I mean glue on the actual folder because these things are, are finicky. These doilies are. Because you can always go back and lift it and add some more glue. And, um keep it down and this glue does it just it will it will stop sticking on your anything it gets on once once it dries so there's that now next let's think for a minute I want to make it look I'm gonna bring over and you guys are not going to be able to see this but I'll show you what I'm digging in this is my pink box. So when I use a kit and it ends up having a pink anything, it goes into this pink box for my collaging. So I have had to reprint stuff. I'm, you wouldn't believe the things I've had to do for this, uh, this box. Because I run out of stuff, you know. When you run out of stuff, you got to have, you want to go back and, redeem it like see i love these roses and so this is going to be 
about roses. This particular one, I want to make sure I have plenty of things about roses. I'm just going to pull them out, and then I'll decide. I think I already got that one, don't I? Um, and I'm going to try to stick with pink roses. You'll understand why when you see the next book I'm working on. Let's see. Here is, now, now see, I love this one with the doves and the roses. That's really pretty. And here is a cute little tag uh, with roses. Here's one that has roses and a little tiny butterfly. This is just a, I can't tell you what kit these came from because it's a combination of leftovers, okay? So, um, I'm sorry, I can't do that, but um, you can get out there and look for some on, um, just anything pink is what kind of what I'm grabbing, which is mostly pink roses in this anyway. I thought I had a heart and I don't know what I did with it. Um, here's a little one. Uh, let me see. I had my hands on a little heart, so I'm looking for it. There it is. There it is. Okay, it has a little tiny bit of blue in it, but that's all right. So that's enough to go by right now. We can do something with that, surely. Now, this is the kind of stuff that has to be inked, but first we're going to lay out our design. Now, I love this rose petal just laying on its side. Now, yes, it's really big, but I have plans to cut it down. I just kind of like the way it's sticking out, so I'm going to cut it down about like that. Okay, get my trash can over here where I can reach it. So I'm going to move it maybe here in the middle and we'll work around it. See what we can come up with. So, 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 let's see. I love this. Now, there's some strip stripes in that. It was probably a bad print that I had. But I also love this. Now, I'm just laying stuff down. No, it's not going to go there because it covers it up. Let's see. Maybe we'll pull that to the side. And I have another really pretty uh, rose one. I'm just trying to, like, stack them on each other. <laughs> okay, and then let's see what else we have that's the right size. Also have this, which is too much white, I can already tell you. Um, we have this cool ticket, which one side is bigger than the other, so we'll fix that. Um... Can, can't ever go wrong with a ticket, can you? So, I'm trying to figure out the best way to put the ticket in. Probably would have to do it upside down, and I don't know that I would like that. No. I do like sticking things at an angle and letting them hang off, too. I do like that but I'm not going to keep that there. I don't like it. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. I'm going to put some just pink things in here. I got to see what all I can find first. Just a minute. I'm not done. And I love Antique Paperia. She has some of the most beautiful backgrounds. And just so you know, now, I also think I want to take that out and consider this, but I want to cut this down just around the little frame, you know? It almost looks like a ticket, but it's it's a shape of a frame. This is Antique Paperia. 
No, it's not. It's Medieval Mirage. Some of it I know. And if I do, I'll tell you. But a lot of it is, you know. This is My Porch Prince. This is My Porch Prince. So I can tell you a lot of it. Okay. Now, I'm thinking I'm not crazy about this because of the streaks in that print. Must have had something wrong with the printer at that time. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to keep looking. Because there's all kinds of goodies in here. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? It's too big. But it is pretty. Okay. Oh, where'd it go? I had my fingers on it. Now, see, this is really pretty, too. Um, and it could actually go behind something. Now, I don't know if you've noticed it, but our dolly is completely covered up, practically. So maybe we don't want to go so big with our decoration. I say we take this out. I definitely want the rosebud there. But I think I do want us to have some, let's put this as kind of a background. I definitely want us to have, um, I'm going to cut this down also I like this rose it just real looks like it was drawn and you know I just love it I love the way it looks so I'm trying to show Dolly now I'm bouncing back and forth as to what I like but that's okay there's nothing wrong with that I think what I'm going to do is just stick with a couple because I feel like it looks better when it's not as, you know, as clustered, I guess. But I, if I do that, I need to make it more centered. So I'll put this rosebud where it can be seen. Just love the way it's just laying there. Okay, there's that. And this. Now, we have this little bitty, little bitty rose. I kind of do it like, I think of it like how I would hang something on the wall. You know, how things would look together when you hang them on the wall. Okay, so I like that. But set these to the side so we can use them maybe next time get some of these scraps out of here so that we can use the ink the ink book not the ink book but the glue book okay so we're gonna have to ink these real fast and when I say fast I mean fast this ink is getting really low so it's not gonna do a whole lot. And it's shedding. <laughs> Keep forgetting to change it out. Do you guys do that? You get to working and then you forget. Okay. Now... Everything's inked. I still think I want maybe some doily, like real doily or some, something behind it. Um, got all kinds of things here. I've even got 
some pink things. Let's see what that might look like. Um, give me a second. I'm digging. And of course, <laughs> it's taken the whole thing out of my my bucket. Okay. Now this is pretty too, this dolly. So do I want to use it on this one or on another one? I'm kind of sticking with pink like I told you because I'm at least on a couple of these. I'm only going to, well, no, actually I need to do four. Uh, I'm doing two, I'm just going to tell you, I'm doing two Easter books that are going to be gorgeous. Just so you know. And I don't know if that'll be the next video. It probably will. Showing you the next video. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that on there. So, we'll see if we can find um, something that looks better on that particular on this particular one. I just want some um, real doily on here too. Cause I think that'll look pretty. And I'm thinking that maybe we can just put it here at the bottom. I don't know. I, you know, I have no plan. <laughs> you guys can probably figure that out. I have no plan. I'm just, playing and and auditioning things and deciding you know what I like and honestly I think simple is so much better sometimes don't you so what I'm gonna do is cut some more of this doily I'm gonna glue those two like that and this like this, but it needs a little bit of doily under it because I'll use it like a pop dot. <laughs> Let's glue this down first. Okay, so that's how it's going to go. Okay, that portion is going to go like that. Um, so I'm just going to put glue right here to hold this doily down as good as I can. Now we need to glue this rosebud down. Yeah, I think sometimes we can overdo it. You know, we look at it, we, we do the background and then we look at it, and I'm talking about myself too. We look at the background and then we're like, hmm, I think I want this, and I want this, and before you know it, the background you put down is kind of in vain. Uh, so now we're going to do this rose. If I can get this to come out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this I want right here, maybe right in the middle of that one. So I'm going to glue a little tiny bit of doily right here. I'm going to have to get a different bottle of glue out. That one's driving me crazy. Now let's see if that's going to be what we want cuz yeah, that would be perfect. It's okay if the if the doily's hanging out because it it would you'd want it that way, right? This glue is making it hard on my hand. I don't know why it what it still is. I've already had to cut it open larger the the spout because it was 
just too tight. So what is missing on here? Um, I'm thinking, I feel like we need lace or something. Um, something's missing. Do we want to try to do like a, I don't think, I don't know if this would look right with a button. Um, let me grab one and just see what it would look like. Gotta see if I can find the pink buttons. <clears throat> there they are. They're kind of pink and beige and not beige, but pink and So this is how I do my buttons. The, all the jars are different sizes according to the button. I just made a button and put it on there in the right color. It's hard to tell. That almost looks red, but it's really pink. And then I just take it off and I've mixed all kinds of pinks in here. You know, they're not just one pink. Now, someone said to me, you actually sat down and did those buttons, separated all those colors. Well, it wasn't like I sat down and had nothing else to do. I just got sick and tired of um, digging for buttons when I needed one, you know? And so I was like, I'm gonna separate these stupid buttons. And I did, but it was over a long period. It wasn't like I sat down one day and did them all. If I had any spare time at all, I would do buttons. I would sit down and work on buttons. And so, yeah, I did, I did buttons. So underneath this, I'm thinking maybe we could do, uh, let's see what we got here. Got a piece of eyelet. Now it does not have to all be white. Um, oh, and I have some white burlap though. <laughs> some white burlap. Let's see if we can use some of that. I think three things is enough, don't you? It would have been nice to have something pink in there. Let me see if I have pink in here. Well, what do you know? Yeah, this is my little um, destroyed doilies box, you know, where I I uh, cut doilies up. Like this was a store-bought one. And I was like, I don't want that for, you know, anything important anyway. So maybe we'll do it like this. Well, I kind of made it pretty small, didn't I? Let's do like this. I think this one's better. Kind of put it on there in a different direction and then put this right here. Now, let me thread my needle. I wasn't planning on having anything to um, to sew today, but you never know, right? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do it where we have a loop at the bottom instead of a, a knot. You guys know how to do that. It's kind of like when you cross stitch. When you cross stitch, you um, you put a loop at the bottom so you don't have very many knots on the back of your your cross stitch. Now, mind you, I'm very blind, and the threads wanting to separate, so might have to do one at a time. Yep, that's what I'm going to have to do. Sorry, no loop. <laughs> no loop this time. I'll show you that trick another day when I have a bare needle head. 
Okay, come on. I keep forgetting, too, I have some um, real delicate, I should have got out some flowers, because flowers would be really pretty on here, too, wouldn't they? Okay, here we go. I can keep it in place while I hold it. Sometimes I will put buttons on and just stick them wherever. Well, that was cool. Not. It's hard for me to handle tiny things, but I'm determined to do it. Sorry, the dog's barking, guys. She thinks she sees somebody. And she doesn't. Okay, come on. Well, you know what the problem is, is that tag that was on the back of that one doily. Let me get past it. I'm not going to let this defeat me. <laughs> if we don't get all these decorated this time, we, well, good grief. We will come back and do them. Or I'll do a second video. So we don't have to worry about, um, uh, you guys beginning to think we don't need to do this button like I am? We're determined though, right? I think it kind of shoved my button over, so let me move it a little bit. Okay. Dang. Wouldn't think doing a button would be such a big deal. Come on, there we go. Believe it or not, I do need to work. <laughs> I embroidery and I cross stitch and I love it. I have more trouble than instead of having trouble with my fingers who've had surgery, I have more trouble with um, seeing even though I have glasses on. So my husband bought me this really awesome, it's getting there, it's just fighting me. My husband had bought me this really awesome light, you guys. If you don't have one and you like to stitch, went to the needlework store and bought me a magnifying um, glass. And you just pull it up under you while you're sewing and you look straight down through it. Everything's larger and it has a light on it. So it's lit up best thing I think they ever made. Okay, so here we're going to stitch, we're going to tie this off and be done with this one, maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay, one more because I don't want it to fall off while I'm trying to work with it. All right, there we go. Dang. Never had so much trouble putting on a button. Sorry, guys. I promise I'm not normally that clumsy. Okay, so I'm going to cut these little strings off that's sticking out everywhere. Okay. All right, so now get our glue. And I think we're going to put it right here. But I feel like this is really bare at the top. What do you think? I feel like it is um, really kind of um, like it needs something. But it needs something small. So we had a ticket here. Yeah, I, I don't think the ticket fits what we're looking for. This heart is pretty, but we would have to cut the heart off to slide it up under here, you know. But that might work. 
and it gives us different heights and dimension. So we can call it 3D. <laughs> um, I think that will be will be different and that would help it because I feel like there needs to be more color there. So just so you know, anytime you want to use something, like I just cut this heart bottom off and it gives the illusion that there's there's a heart under there. And so you can see it and let me make sure I'm putting it down far enough. Yeah. So now that, that made me happy. That looks better. It could use something over here too, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it needs to be really small, whatever it is. I have tiny stuff. Let me look here real fast and see if there's anything tiny that would look good there. I have some little bitty circles that have hearts on them, but I'm trying to get my fingers on them and they won't, they're so tiny, they won't come to me. There they are. Okay, well, I got one of them, I'll put it that way. So it's these, but I'm thinking over this way. Let me see if I can find the, one of the others. I know there's different colors in here. Hmm. Yep, if I can get my finger on it, there it is. Perfect. This is more the color that I would want. And look what else I found. My little baby ticket. Yeah. Maybe he needs to be up here. Let's see if he looks right. Sticking out up there. Okay, so let me run some ink around it. That makes me happy. So, just to point out to people who are watching who don't um, who don't make journals, um, it takes a lot of time to make something look uh, like you want it to look. You know, it's it's not easy uh, getting that perfect look. You know how many times I went through this, and I'm going to look and see what time we're at. Um, and I'll tr I'll kind of pre-plan some stuff out next time so it don't take as long. And But at the same time, we can still audition different things that we don't, we're not sure of. I love that. I don't like that sticking it right there, but okay. And now we're going to stick our little ticket in here because we can, right? And that'll give us some uh, different things at different heights. I know something else that would look really pretty on here, and I know right where it is to grab it. It's behind me, like my buttons were. Um, let me grab it, and then we'll be done with this one. So I have a container. <laughs> You're not shocked, are you? I have a container with some, some gems in it, but there's nothing pink. So what I think we'll do is use some of this um, clear. And you can cut off however much you want to use. So I'll cut a few of these off if I can. And that it did not want to cut off. Okay, so I don't know if this comes off in one piece. I haven't used this particular one before. I have several different kinds. Let me see how it comes off. Okay. Yeah, this in one this in my there's another kind that I have. 
and it's not, it doesn't happen, it happens to not be in this, but I have some of these cute little gems too. Probably won't use those. But if this was, um, let me get this off. If this was just a straight line of, of uh, shiny, right there's where I would put it. Let me see if we can cut down the middle. Oh, well, nice. Okay, maybe we can use it. I think you just glue on the back of it. Let me trim this plasticky looking stuff. Where did it go? Okay, there it is. Now, I'm gonna add some glitter glue to this one because I think it'll be easier. We're just gonna put a little line of glue right at the top. And yes, that's a lot, but it does dry clear. I tell you, it comes out of the bottle so fast. Have you guys noticed that with the glitter glue? I mean, you don't know when it's gonna stop. And it looks terrible when it first, you know, when it's looking like this, but this will all, I'll, I kind of get up the, the worst part of it, but it will all dry clear. I still don't like it on there after I've worked so hard. So now the next thing we can do, you guys think about it. Um, I think we need to put like something on some kind of word or something on there. Let me grab those. I've got a bunch of words. We just have to decide what, you know, works for this. So if I could find the word dream, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Uh, you never know. I found the word journal, which would be good too. We could put one on both of them if we wanted to. But let me look just for a minute. I don't want to dig forever because I know I don't want to keep you guys forever. Let's see. Journal. Notes. Cherish is another really good one. Um, love. I think love is... is Always awesome. Found the word bugs. I don't think we're going to use that. Let's see. Okay. So, creative is another one I love to use here. Let's, let's decide. Let's do cherish and love. Is that easy enough? <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to put cherish on the front one. And I'm going to put um, love on the back one. If I can get my fingers on it, it's t so tiny. Come off of there. Okay. We're going to make that be enough ink on that one. Let's do Cherish first. Now, remember, you know, we've got to have stuff for the inside as well. I can't wait to put one of these in a book. I'm gonna have to wait till one of them are done. Kind of working on both of them at the same time right now. But it's not something that I would recommend for these books. So we'll do one at a time. But I had to paint the, paint the book covers because I didn't want to for it to bleed the what was on the book to bleed through to the all right guys we're finished with this one we're gonna see how much time we've got let me look we're over an hour again YouTube's gonna throw me in a ditch no I'm just kidding so here you go, but we did get pretty involved in this, right? 
So I'm gonna turn this video off and I'm gonna go straight into making the second video. So you guys can see more than just one. I hope you guys had fun in this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. It really lets YouTube know. They keep track of all of that. And um, and I like to go back and look and see that people are actually watching and enjoying the video. So, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're getting, you know, about 100 away from 2,000. So, I really would love to hit that 2,000. All right, guys. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.